Nobody wants to get united. Like, what we got to do is meet everybody in 149th Street at the bench. Now, a lot of you guys hit me up in DMs asking me, John, should I be doing graffiti illegally? Is this something that, you know, I, I should kind of get into? I'm kind of afraid of getting arrested. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about in today's video. I want to give you guys the truth about doing graffiti illegally. But now, understand, I want to focus more on the new guys coming into this rather than the people who've already invested a long time into doing graffiti illegally. But before we get into that, I really got to thank you guys for the support on the brushes and the books. You guys have been going crazy on it, and I really appreciate it. It allows me in order to do things like the new hand style book that we're making, which we're wrapping up the final draft of now. If you're interested in any of that, check it out in the description down below. Your support is very appreciated. It keeps the show going. But check this out. A lot of people, a lot, especially younger people, they want to get into illegal graffiti. The allure, I mean, let's be honest, if you got experience in graffiti, you know the allure of the illegal side of graffiti is, is something really uh, all immersive, if you will. Like, it really kind of takes over you when you're first getting into this art form. So this video is going to kind of focus on those newer guys, not so much the people who already do it and have been doing so for some time now. First tip, don't do graffiti illegally. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, most people who consider, you know, doing graffiti illegally are not built to be graffiti artists. They're not built to be writers is a better way to say that. While I never condone breaking the law, I especially think these people are just shouldn't even attempt it to begin with. Not everybody's made for this, and that's a good thing. That That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And in fact, it's better that way. For those of you guys who are contemplating becoming a writer, understand one thing. You are going to get arrested at some point. It's bound to happen. Everybody gets arrested if you do it long enough. For some people, this happens a little bit sooner than others. I had a friend who did graffiti for 15 years and never got caught, and then they got nabbed. While I've also had friends who've gotten caught on their very first time going out. So it's gonna happen at some point, and you never know when it's gonna happen. But it's your job to understand two things. It will happen, and once it does happen, tip number two, accept your punishment with dignity. Don't throw a fuss, don't get pissed. This is the, the agreement that you agreed to. When you decided to go ahead and get up, you've agreed to put your freedom at risk. And you lost the game. You can't expect to break the law and then when you get caught, be all shocked and surprised when you get slammed with whatever consequences you get slammed with. It's your own fault. You, you did this to yourself. So you, the only thing you can do is have some dignity and take that punishment the way that you're supposed to. And it's something that Demer instilled in me, right? Demer, for those of you guys who don't know, he's my mentor, graffiti legend from New York. Very, very incredible graffiti artist and an even better person. So he always said, if you're gonna break the law, don't give the cops a hard time. You lost. That's the game. That's what you agreed to. Just take it and keep it moving. And he's 100% correct. Now, some people, they get caught and immediately they start thinking about, oh, I gotta change my name because the cops, the, 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 the vandal squad is gonna bust through my front door and raid my house if, if I don't change my name. Let's understand something. If every single graffiti artist changed their name whenever they got arrested, we wouldn't have any graffiti legends. We wouldn't have people like Saber. We wouldn't have people like Scene. We wouldn't have people like Chino. Now, I'm not saying having an alias isn't a good idea. It certainly can be. But remember the point of graffiti. The whole point of it is to pick a name and get that name up. If you're changing your name every single time you get arrested, for some of you guys, that's going to be a lot of changing of names. And you're not going to get very far if you're changing your name that often. This drive to change your name comes more so from the individual's cowardice rather than an actual necessity. Now, what we have to understand is some locations treat graffiti very differently than other locations. Yes, in some areas, graffiti is extremely, extremely looked down upon and they're really strict on it. And therefore, they're, these people are more likely to change their name and it's more likely to be a necessity. Inevitably as well, when I hear these people talking about changing their name, they always also throw in there, well, my mommy and daddy know my name. And it's like, all right, at that point, you probably shouldn't have been doing graffiti illegally anyway because you're too young. And this next one might be a little bit controversial, but be careful not only who you do graffiti with, but who you tell about your graffiti. Nowadays in the online space, people are very open about everything they do. If you ask me a little bit too open, they share a little bit too much once again, if you ask me. And even though I no longer do graffiti illegally, I've always thought it was smart in order to take the more secretive approach. The reason for this is because there's no denying the fact that people snitch. And even though my comments would explode with everybody saying, I'm not a snitch, the truth of the matter is, most of you guys would definitely snitch. So the reason I say, be careful who you tell and who you keep around you, is because the person that you keep around you is probably going to snitch on you. It's better to have a tighter circle rather than to kind of just let everything out there online. So to kind of wrap this all up in a nutshell, in short, first rule of thumb is expect to get caught at some point. 
It's going to happen. Come to terms with that fact. Accept that fact and the consequences that come with it. So when you get caught, don't give anybody a hard time. Take your punishment with some dignity. Three, you don't always have to change your name, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that for your case-by-case -case scenarios. And I actually want to kind of like, like reiterate this point, this third point here, and say that maybe you don't use your primary name for a little bit. You kind of let that one simmer down a bit, and then maybe you come back to it a little later. And the fourth, expect whoever you kind of chill with in your circle, expect them to snitch on you at some point as well. It's safer to assume that that could happen than to assume it would never happen. All right, I think that just about wraps up everything I wanted to go ahead and say on the topic, but let me know your thoughts about it in the comments down below. What advice do you have as well? What do you think new graffiti artists should look out for if they're thinking about getting into this? Also, if you want some tutorials and some more like, you know, art-based stuff, you want to learn the science behind the art form, check out the best how to do graffiti playlist right up here with more graffiti tutorials right down here. And I'll catch you guys back here next week. Thanks for watching.